Hi guys, today we're going to look at some last minute tips for physics paper 2, so the chemistry portion. So this is just a weighting of like the types of level questions you get in the paper and how much. So level 1s will be 15%, level 2s 40%. Um, this portion would be for paper 2. And then content wise, they divide chemistry into two like sections so chemical change and then matter and materials which is usually more redox reaction stuff and then you get your obviously organic reactions organic compounds all of that will fall into these two categories now we're just going to look at some extra tips that i have so with all exams my first tip is begin with the questions you confident on you 100 percent know in reading time, obviously, you'll flip through the paper and you'll identify which questions you think you can do, which ones might be a little bit harder, and which ones you can definitely do. Start with the ones that you definitely know that you can do. It saves time because you know that you can do them, so it's quick marks and it builds confidence. And then especially for Kim, in the f well, right after the multiple choice, you have question two, which is the organic compounds. Some of them give you... Um, a molecular formula or will give you the condensed formula and sometimes you will look at it and it will ask you questions and you genuinely don't know like what you what molecule it is or what's the functional group if you don't know try draw out the structure just on the side of the paper or wherever because when you draw out the structure from the condensed formula you have a better understanding of where each bond is or what the functional group is, and it can help you answer the questions that follow. My next tip is to always write the formula first. So if you're doing an acid-base reaction, or if you're doing a Kc value, you get marks for writing your equation first, just with without even substituting, just writing the standard equation. And then you can substitute in, and make sure you substitute correctly. But first, start by writing the equation. Remember that when you're writing your exam, try to divide your time equally between each section or each question so that you have enough time to essentially complete the whole paper. So if you're doing a question and you feel like, okay, I'm not getting anywhere with this and it's taking me too long, move on. You can always come back to it. But if you keep trying to work on it and it's taking you a bunch of time, you're wasting time on the question and you are limiting your time that you have to complete the rest of the questions. So rather, move on to a new question, you will start thinking about something else, this question, and then when you come back, you might actually have a fresh perspective to redo the question that you were stuck on and you might be able to solve it. But don't spend too long on the question if you genuinely are stuck, just move on and then obviously manage time and then importantly for most of the calculations or if, even if it's answering a question that's just single value answer don't forget your units as you'll lose marks for forgetting units such as moles grams moles per gram grams per mole so units are very important and that's pretty much all the tips i have so good luck with your exams and that's all. Thank you.